coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Congratulations are in order for St. Lucian High Jump athlete Levin Spencer who received gold at the 2019 Pan American Games. Levin Spencer, who was also the champion for 2018, led the seven-member St. Lucian team at the 2019 Pan American Games in Peru. A great performance was also delivered by St. Lucian high jumper Janelle Shaper, who came in fourth place. Environmental stakeholders from the public and private sectors in St. Lucia lent their support and expertise towards the successful launch and two-day workshop for the Replast OECS project, an initiative that seeks to create a sustainable economic model for the management and recycling of plastic waste in the Caribbean. The two-year pilot project implemented by Unite Caribbean will be carried out in St. Lucia and will focus on testing approaches and systems for setting up a plastic waste collection and recycling scheme through export from St. Lucia to Martinique. The Replast OECS project is funded primarily by the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs through its St. Lucian-based embassy to the OECS and Barbados with support from the government of St. Lucia, the OECS Commission, the private sector and civil society in St. Lucia. The government of St. Lucia has commenced a phased approach to banning single-use plastics in St. Lucia. The Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Hon. Alan Chastney, informed that whilst the ban to limit the amount of plastic being utilised is being introduced, the government is also simultaneously carrying out major cleanup campaigns across the island. The most recent community to have benefited from this campaign has been Bruceville in Beaufort, in which over 11 truckloads of plastic waste were removed from the area. The Ministry of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations has officially launched the Yes I Can Adult Literacy Program in the community of Miku. The four-month program is geared towards educating both youth and adults who did not complete primary and secondary schooling. Acting Director of Innovation within the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations, Linnell Malze, stated that the program concurs with the Government of St. Lucia's vision for 2030 to eradicate illiteracy in St. Lucia. The program commenced on the 6th of August and will culminate in November. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.